And welcome upstairs where we get things going for a good evening of hockey where the Edmonton Oilers find a way to defeat, of course, the LA Kings. A big time victory for the Oilers who needed to find, uh, well, two points tonight and that they do. And now a good chance, a solid chance for the Edmonton Oilers to go out there and sweep this California road trip. How sweet it is for the Oilers who desperately need to continue to get points to climb the standings well. He entered action tonight, four wins back of the LA Kings in terms of uh, wins overall. And now you're only three back at the end of the night. You're up to 35 points all said. The Oilers are climbing the standings quicker than we can uh, fathom at this point, considering that once upon a time, not too long ago, we were two, nine, and one. And the Oilers, for the first time, I believe, all, game, all, se all season, are two games above 500. So how sweet that is. That is fantastic for us Oilers fans. That's fantastic for the Edmonton Oilers. Obviously, the highlights tonight, you got to know Connor McDavid in his game number 600 came in and helped win this hockey game. You got to know as well, Stuart Skinner was fantastic start to finish. The two shots that went in on him, I mean, come on, posting in, barring in, beautifully labeled shots. End of the day, I'm not going to worry about too much of those shots going in because those are good shots. And Adrian Kempe, he was good against us in the playoffs. Obviously, as well, you have, uh, I believe it was Kevin Fiala scoring the other goal. And, I mean, he's a pretty good, legit NHLer as well. So those guys scoring points, we're not going to worry too much about things there if they score a couple goals and the Oilers find a way to win 3-2 all told. I know a lot of people said that the LA Kings were absolutely going to tear apart the Edmonton Oilers. Well, all they managed to do, a highlight for them tonight, was the fact that they were able to play good defensive hockey against the Oilers in the first and third periods. But as soon as the LA Kings got into penalty trouble, the Oilers made them pay. And again, that's the thing. The Oilers aren't necessarily going to win every game this year on the power play anymore. But hey, when you get the power play and you got to uh, you got to find a way to win the hockey game, that's what you do. You go out there and you win the hockey game on the power play and that's what the Oilers did tonight so that's a fantastic get for us this evening obviously too like I said Stuart Skinner 20 plus saves two goals against and a winning effort for him that's another win in the column he's now 10 and 2 in his past 12 games his goals against average is below 2.18 his save percentage now soundly up in those uh, 9 10 range Stuart Skinner has come to play for us here over the past little bit. I'm looking forward to seeing what that means for us going into 2024. Obviously, tomorrow, friends, now that the Oilers have found a way to win two games on this California road trip, we got news this evening from Ryan Holt of the Bakersfield Condors that Raphael Lavoie's short-lived uh, recall could be coming to an end here soon, whether it be after the game against the Ducks or after tonight's game against the LA Kings. So if it comes to an end tonight, I would not be surprised to see one man, Olivier Rodrigue, get the start for the Oilers against the Anaheim Ducks based on results from the Oilers, based on what Rodrigue's done this season, and based on the fact that we have an easy roster move. We can in turn exchange Olivier Rodrigue for Stuart Skinner, and you're all good, all great, all good to go. The highlights tonight, though, again, friends, if you're just joining in, Skinner, phenomenal. Again, two, Connor McDavid, game number 600, shows up and has a big-time game. I think now three guys on our roster have all scored in uh, in the Oilers' uh, 600 game, right, for Drysdale, Nugent Hopkins, and Connor McDavid. So big nights for those guys. And I think, too, the nicest part here is we come away with the win, right? That's a highlight. It wasn't looking good after one, but you know how the Oilers like to play things, friends. Always keep it interesting. Always make it interesting. And that they did right down to the end buzzer where the uh, horn sounded down, I guess you could say, or it would have if we would have been at home. And at the end of the day, we get to play La Bamba in our own basements tonight as the Oilers take home a 3-2 shootout victory over top of the LA Kings. Yeah, I know it sucks they get a point, but hey, what do you say? We'll take home the two 
and continue to roll along here this season, friends. Thank you so much for being aboard this evening. If you are new to the streams and new to the channel, anything, please consider hitting that uh, subscribe button. And I am up on over here to get to bed for what should be an interesting New Year's Eve, all told for us, us as Oilers fans, the Edmonton Oilers, and what will be a good year to close out 2023.